Oil is not for the faint of heart. Black gold has made fortunes for some, but its price volatility leaves destruction in its wake. Here are some of the biggest oil booms and busts of the last century. One of the earliest oil price shocks of the transportation era was the West Coast gasoline famine of 1920. Demand for oil was surging as more people started driving automobiles. Consumption almost doubled from 1915 to 1920. That led to a shortage in gasoline. Autos were out of commission and horses back in style. After 1920, oil production in the U.S. boomed in Texas, Oklahoma, California. That meant no more shortages, increased supply, and falling prices down 40% between 1920 and 1926, then tossed the Great Depression in the mix. Prices fell another 66% by 1931. Throughout the world, throngs of people hailed the end of the war in Europe. After World War II, people were demanding more petroleum-based products and buying more cars. The price of oil increased 80% from 1945 to 1947. In 1960, OPEC was founded. The coordination of supply from these countries led to relatively stable prices for the next decade. Just after Syria and Egypt attacked Israel in 1973, OPEC announced an embargo on all oil exports to countries viewed as supporting Israel, including the United States. Oil prices doubled and then doubled again, and drivers waited in long lines just to fill up their tanks. Iran was one of the largest oil producers in the world in 1978, but the revolution in that country hurt production, and the country has never fully recovered. The price of oil, already historically high, pretty much doubled again, and in the U.S., the lines for gas were back. If you haven't noticed already, when there's conflict in the Middle East, oil prices go up. That's what happened in 1990, and again when the U.S. invaded Iraq in 2003. Growing demand for oil was booming at the beginning of the 21st century. China was guzzling crude, and the U.S. economy was in a bubble. Despite signs of a global recession underway, oil peaked at $147 a barrel in 2008. It helped put the brakes on the economy just before the financial crisis brought it all crashing down. And today, too many players pumping too much oil and concerns about China's slowing growth have sent oil prices into a tailspin. How will this bust stack up with others from the last hundred years?